Okay, here's what I found. This is a 2004 Aveo. It's got about 72,000 miles on it. And it belongs to a friend of mine. And she said uh, she kind of got stuck in the snow we had here recently. It was trying to make it up her driveway. So most likely high RPM uh, while the vehicle was spinning in the snow. And uh, she said all of a sudden the vehicle just shut off. And she tried to start it. It would crank but wouldn't start. And when the tow truck driver went to try to start it, it wouldn't even crank at all. It just clicked. So he thought the engine was locked up, and so did I. And uh, I brought it in uh, knowing that the timing belt hadn't been changed at the interval it's supposed to be, 60,000 miles. I figured the timing belt had blown. So I pulled this cover back here around the timing belt. And as you can see, the belt is still intact, and it actually still has some tension on it. So I thought, okay, that's kind of weird. And uh, next step was to pull the wheel off here. And once I pulled the wheel off, I was able to uh, remove the crank pulley right over here. And what do you know, once I got it off, take a look at that. That is the plastic timing belt tensioner that these geniuses decided to use on this engine and I have seen this before I've seen it happen and I told this gal I said you really need to get your timing belt and the timing belt tensioner replaced because I've seen it happen people put it off and either the timing belt breaks or that plastic tensioner pulley breaks up in there and that is either the tensioner or the idler, one of the two. I'm not sure. I can't tell right now because the cover is still in place. But the last one we had grenade was a tensioner. And I have a feeling this is the same one. If not, it's the idler. But either way, they're both made out of plastic, and it's both a very poor design. It's just a stupid idea to make a timing belt tensioner pulley or an idler pulley out of plastic because this is what happens. It's exposed to all that heat, it gets brittle, and then when you get a high RPM situation and all that centrifugal force gets on that pulley, it just grenades. And as you can see, as you can see, there's pieces in here. I'm gonna try to get them out here. But let's see here. Yeah, there we go. There's one piece. There's another piece in here. And this literally just locked the engine up. It'll only rotate a little bit, but since that uh, timing belt has come in contact, or the timing has jumped, the valves are coming in contact with the pistons now, as you can see, and that's why the engine would not crank, and that's why you can't even move it with a breaker bar except for about a quarter turn. So there's your pieces right there. Idiots who designed this stuff, it floors me. You even broke the uh, cover here, the front cover. Yeah, it looks like there's probably a water pump leak in there. Okay, I went ahead and removed uh, the rest, the other cover here, the lower cover. And as you can see, there is the pulley that grenaded. And it was the idler pulley in this case. You can see one more piece of the pulley right down there in the middle of the screen between the belt and the plastic housing there. And that's the last piece there. It grenaded into three pieces. Uh, there's the belt. As you can see there's the tensioner right there and it's also made out of plastic the water pump pulley is made out of metal and so are the camshaft pulleys and the crank pulley as well but it's just a nightmare it's a stupid design why I mean I didn't know if they were they're thinking they were gonna save in costs or what but uh-huh just stupid. It's a poor design. So this cover here is going to have to be replaced. It's going to need the whole top of the engine is going to have to be rebuilt now with the bent valves and all that good stuff. Yep. Fail. And once I got all the three pieces out here I need to make a little correction. It actually grenaded into four pieces and the fourth piece is missing as you can see. So yeah, there you go. Just a little uh, note to add to the video. But that's it. That is a blown idler pulley on a 2004 Aveo. S stupid. Plastic. Try to save a little money up front, spend a lot more. Well, the customer has to spend a lot more further down the road.